Hi, I'm Arlen Nagata, and I've got a quick tip for you. Well, I consult with a lot of churches and ministries, and a question I get all the time is how do I get a video clip from a movie, from a DVD, onto my computer so I can use it in a PowerPoint or some other multimedia presentation? Well, on a Mac, that's really, really easy. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. And to do this, I'm going to use basically three different programs. Uh, the first one is DVD player, comes with your Mac. The second two you can download from the internet. First one is called Handbrake and its partner program is called VLC Player. Those two you can search the internet, download them. They are free open source programs so no cost to you. Just download them and install them on your computer and you're good to go. Okay, before we dive in, uh, I need to make a disclaimer. It's a little bit debatable on whether this is legal, what we're doing today. Uh, now please don't send me to jail, please don't call the cops on me. Um, I'm a firm believer that if you own the DVD, you should be able to do basically whatever you want with it okay uh, now what we're doing is we're taking a clip and gonna use it in like a PowerPoint or something but we're not making millions of copies and selling it on eBay we're not um, you know posting this stuff on the internet for everybody to see this is just for me just for me to use in a presentation Okay, and I just need a simple, easy way to show a video clip. And between uh, me and God, that's okay. So uh, you can wrestle with this issue if you'd like, but I think it's okay. All right, so I'm going to show it to you today. Okay, so let's jump right in. I'm going to start off by launching the program called Handbrake. Okay, here we go. Now I have a video... Uh, DVD here see the DVD icon it's called TCOB side one I'm gonna open that what handbrake's gonna do is it's gonna scan the titles three or four 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 and it's done okay titles are basically the different sections on the DVD uh, if you're doing this with a typical movie traditional movie you will probably have one huge title that's like two hours long Okay, and on this DVD, uh, this is actually a pastor's preaching. So um, I've got three different video messages on here. Okay, the first one is on Title 2, it's 34 minutes. Next one, Title 3, 42 minutes. Next one, Title 4. Okay, I want to I pull a clip off of Title 2. Click on that. And it shows me that it has chapters 1 through 8. And the, and the length, the duration is 34 minutes. Okay, if I wanted to uh, take the whole uh, video, I would leave all that alone. But for me, I just want a clip. I just want a couple minutes of this of this video. So I want chapter four through chapter four. That's all I want. Then the duration drops to seven minutes. That's perfect down here destination this is where um, where we're gonna put this video let's let's browse and see uh, I'm already in my movies folder that's where I want to be so that's that's great uh, the only thing is that the title I, I TCB side one that, that doesn't mean anything to me so I'm gonna type in work for God and that's kind of the theme of this clip, and so I'll name I'll name it that. Okay. Um, next, we have output settings. Okay, what I'm going to tell you is, don't do anything with this. Okay, if you're not an advanced user, this will just confuse you. Instead, what you want to do is you want to use these presets here in this window. This toggle preset button will open or close these presets. Okay, so what kind of video do I want? What, what am I going to use this for? If I'm going to put this on my iPod, click iPod, and you're good to go. I have an iPhone, so if I was going to 
convert this movie, put it on my iPhone, and watch it on my iPhone, I'd use this option. Well, the one I want, I think, is classic. And the reason I want classic is because um, this becomes an MP4 video. Okay? See that? The letters MP4? And that works really good with PowerPoint on the Mac and it works really good in other applications so that's the one I want it's a good quality video it's gonna be perfect for what I need okay now that that's all set I'm just gonna click start okay the file already exists yeah it already exists because I've already done this once but I'm gonna I'm gonna overwrite okay down here you get a status bar this is encoding, it's going, it's going, and surprisingly to me, uh, this is only going to take 1 minute and 40 seconds. Okay, that should have been a commercial break. Well, I've waited a few minutes and my video is done. Put down that cocktail, your hand break cue is done. Okay. So if you want to see this video, I can jump over to the finder. In the movies folder and here it is work for God okay you can preview that that looks good okay okay that looks good it's there okay very good that's it except we could have a problem now when I made this video I knew exactly what title I wanted to convert and I knew exactly what chapter now what if I didn't know that information well the answer is easy that's why you use the DVD player let's jump over to the DVD player there we go and here's the DVD so if I didn't know what title what chapter all this stuff was because it doesn't make sense you know I, I want this I want something from part one and how am I supposed to know that part one is title two on the DVD there's no way for me to know that except I'm going to just play part one now if you start DVD player and it's full screen you can't see anything just hit the escape key and that'll bring it down to this window Okay, so I've already hit the escape key. We're down in this window. I'm going to click right here on part one. Okay, and part one has all this introductory material. Um, this is not what I want. I'm going to click go. When I point at title, I see that we're on title two. Okay, so I'm going to make a note of that. The clip that I want is on title two. Then I'm going to go to the chapter. Chapter 1 is not what I want. Uh, chapter 2. No, that's not what I want. Chapter 3. No, that's not what I want yet. Let's go chapter 4. Yeah, this is the part that I want. Okay, so I'm going to make a note that this is the... that. I'm, I want title 2, title 2, and then for the chapter, I want chapter 4. So now that I've made a note of that, I can actually stop this. I can, um, I can quit out of this program because I don't need that anymore. Now I can go to handbrake, and I want title 2, I want chapter 4 through 4. Okay, so in a nutshell, that's how you do it. If you know what title and what chapter clip you want, go right into Handbrake and, and um, get that video, convert that video. If you don't know what title, what chapter, first start up the DVD player, figure out the title and the chapter, then come into Handbrake and convert that video. All right, hope this tip helps you. Uh, my heart is to make it real simple real easy for you to do the technological things that you need to do for your business for your ministry uh, what have you 
Okay. Well, God bless you. Take a look at my website, and if you're in Hawaii, you need some tech help, give me a call. I'll see what I can do. Okay? Thanks. God bless you guys.